It's just a few days now until the world premiere of The Hobbit, but Sir Peter Jackson is cutting it close. His latest video blog shows they're working around the clock at his Park Road post-production studio in Wellington to get it finished in time for Wednesday's opening. One of The Hobbit cast is Kiwi actor Mark Hadlow, who plays Dory the Dwarf. He's worked on Sir Peter's films for more than 20 years, and he talked to Renee Graham about that long-term working relationship. Ahead of the premiere, Mark Hadlow has already caused an international stir, meeting Prince Charles on his royal tour of New Zealand. He was fabulous. I mean, he's just such, a, such an erudite and, and um, uh, a patrician, but, but so open to, to, uh, uh, to people. Mark Hadlow's long working relationship with film director Sir Peter Jackson started on this set. Heidi the Hippo was fabulous, you know, especially the song. The Garden of Love. It was amazing, absolutely extraordinary. Mark Hadlow's been on our screens since the 80s, starring in local film, television and theatre productions. He's now a lieutenant in the Navy, but took almost two years shore leave to film The Hobbit. In Sir Peter's Meet the Feebles, he was the voice behind three characters, all known for their comedy, bloodlust or sleaze. It's such an anti-puppet film. I love it. Even back then, he knew exactly what he wanted. Um, he wanted the, what, how the look of it, how the feel of it, the sound of it. Um, I, think that's, that's the, I think that's the genius of Peter. After an unsuccessful round of auditions for Lord of the Rings, Mark Hadlow's next role in the Sir Peter production was Harry the Actor in the Hollywood blockbuster King Kong. Seven years on, Mark Hadlow is Dory the Dwarf in The Hobbit. Mark says it was an honour to work with actors like Martin Freeman. He was really naughty. He would encourage us to be naughty as well. And I was always got caught. After carrying up to 40 kilograms of prosthetics and armour as Dory, next week's premiere will be a big weight off Mark's shoulders. Renee Graham, One News.